Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. So, in the last episode, we. Well, we did quite a bit. We fought Gorgon, we defeated him, and then we also learned that the Varich guy, or whatever his name is, is the leader of Cypher, and he is out there on an island that no one can get to, but apparently. The grandpa guy here, Pear's grandpa, has created the Robo Kyogre here for us to use and has said that we can use it to get over there to the island. So nothing has really changed with the team. Um, I did go off screen and teach Breloom Bullet Seed though because I felt like Bullet Seed would be necessary for it. Um, but I didn't do anything else. I just kind of went back and I sold some things. I sold a TM, got some more super potions and hyper potions and pokeballs and stuff like that. Um, but I want to use these HP ups and different things like that. Um, why not? Use it on our bulky Pokemon. Um, protein, which will raise attack stats. So we want to give that to Torpedo, defense, um, give it to Muck, Arbos with speed, can't use it on, I was gonna say use it on Torpedo, but we're already fast enough. And then some PP ups, which I don't know if we really need to use, I guess I'll use them one on Earthquake here, and then one on Thunderbolt. Uh, but we're good to go. I went ahead off screen though and I checked to see if we could come back from the island. I didn't do anything but I went to the island so that I could see if we could come back from it because I still have some pokey spots but apparently we can come back from it so it's fine. It was not the island I was expecting. It's basically just this big volcano. Um, I was expecting something else but either way uh, we can go back, so if we ever do want to go back, we can go back. Um, there are a few more pokey spot things. Um, hey you, the thing that you're riding on, it's kind of cool. I have this feeling I met you in the port somewhere, but I don't give a hoot about that. I do have a problem with someone when someone shows up here without passage on our boat. Oh, so you just want to batter me. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, I did go and get a couple of the pokey spots. Um, there was one that was ready to go and I went and got it. It was a Sancher, I believe. And then another one that went off earlier. Uh, don't remember what that was. Hopip, I think. Another Hopip. Nothing special. Basically just went to the mount, um, the battle tower and just tried to go through some of them to try to see if I could get something with them you know just like get them to go off by going through battles and stuff and go trying to go through floors and everything so that's why Ca uh, Camerupt and Lunar Town are almost level 39 um, but yeah I went ahead and tried that it didn't really work I only got a couple pokey spots to go off so obviously we are going to have to once again go back and uh, check them because they're probably gonna go off multiple times um, but I think I will thunder a bolt and I will heal up my breloom here so I did happen to get some more hyper potions I don't think it's really needed though I'm just gonna use a super potion because uh, Jolteon should outspeed and take care of the Pelipper uh, but yeah I just figured you know we can go back and forth it'll be fine all we're going to be doing here probably is battling anyway, so why not? Also, there is a Pokemon ready to be purified in the chamber. Um, but unfortunately, right now we're in the middle of something, so I figure we'll do it later because we're probably going to be catching a bunch of shadow Pokemon here. Um, for some reason, I just feel like this is going to be a shadow Pokemon heavy area um, and we're going to need to be catching a lot of them anyway so we'll be going back to the purifying chamber so might as well just leave it for now that way the ones that we just put in there we can actually 
have them purified as well and then figure it out, fix it all at once, basically. Ah, there's a Golduck who is going to be the Shadow because we did see that in the uh, in the list of Shadow Pokemon. Golduck was one of them. I can't believe that actually just told us every Shadow Pokemon that was going to be coming up. I kind of spoiled it all, I guess. <laughs> Although I don't remember what all it was. I know I saw Lugia, I saw Raikou, I think, and I saw Articuno. But as far as I'm concerned, we only have one <laughs> Master Ball. Okay, so looks to me like I'm going to be doing a bit of biting and a bit of stun sporing to this gold up here. Because, as always, I want to focus on one Pokemon at a time when capturing them. Lucky for us, we get the nice flinch on Golduck. Um, I don't see it doing very much to us anyway, but just to be safe. And then I'm going to go ahead and paralyze the Sableye as well. Actually, yeah, you're not going to do nothing to me at all because all you know is Shadow moves. Probably forget about that all the time. I'm gonna bite you and I'm going to stun spore the Sableye. So Jolteon here and Breloom are kind of like our A team. I mean, they're pretty much set up for catching Shadow Pokemon because Jolteon can bite things and not kill things super quickly. Whereas Breloom can stun, sp stun spore things and, you know, obviously help us out a bit there. Oof. Oof! And they're both- they can both pretty much take hits pretty well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and toss an old Ochre there. Actually, I got some more net balls, and those work on water types as well, so... Might as well use them while I got them. And then we will heal up Breloom here. Nice Hyper. Get you back to full. But they can both pretty much handle a lot of attacks that hit at them. Um, and they are both very good with using paralyzing moves and just moves that aren't very effective so that they don't do too much damage to the shadow Pokemon. So I'm definitely enjoying having these two <laughs> to help out with catching. Alright, so now all we have is this Sableye here, which I don't know if I can do much to, to be honest, because I don't know what this thing can do to me. Um, perhaps... We can b bullet seed it? I don't know, that's gonna do a lot of damage now though, because obviously um, we're an attacker and I got rid of Mega Drain. I guess we'll just pop a little save. Just in case, you know, you gotta make sure that you are good. Just in case you manage to <laughs> um, knock out a Shadow Pokemon. And I'll just go for the bullet seed. Shouldn't do too much damage anyway. Oh yeah, that's fine. Especially only hitting two times, really. I honestly think we could go for a bite. I'm gonna go for a bite and I'm going to go for, I guess a stun spore because I can't really do anything with the uh, Breloom here. Alright, that's some good damage. Now we can start tossing out the Pokeballs. Okay, we're gonna go with... Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for a regular Pokeball because I gotta get rid of them, for one thing. <laughs> and... If that doesn't work, I guess we'll Bullet Seed since that didn't do too much damage anyway. Now that I think about it, I taught it Bullet Seed thinking that it would be physical, but I'm pretty sure it's special. Now that I think about it, I'm so dumb. Because this is a third generation game and I'm pretty sure there is no split with physical and special moves. So I basically just gave it a move that really is not that good because I could have had Mega Drain to get HP back that would have done about the same amount of damage as um, this one did. So, Oh well, you live and you learn. I guess we can't do anything else really with Freeloom, so until we catch this thing, I guess we'll go ahead and have you try to stun sport again. <laughs> Just do nothing over there, Freeloom, you're fine. There we go. 
Got it in the old great ball. Got two more to add to the party. In the PC, that is. <laughs> I guess we can go back and put them in there then. Might as well. Darn it, I've got to report this. What about your other friend over there? You gonna battle me too? Huh? How'd you manage to get to this island? You rode that here? That's awesome! Even Mr. Barrick, the world's richest man, doesn't have one of those. Oh, hey. It's ex it excites the sailing man's heart to me. Listen, how about letting me take letting me take a ride sometime, huh? Sure. That's alright. That's the spirit of the man of the sea. I don't know if this is much of a thanks, but I found this in the ship. Oh, thanks. By the way, what brings you here? Get your errand finished quick so I can go sail with you. Okay. I will, but I'm gonna go back for a second. Uh, because we need to go to the purifying chamber. There's one ready to be purified, and then a couple more we need to add in. And don't worry, I will not be doing this the whole time. I will not be going back and forth to put them into the purifying chamber. Uh, the whole time. And because I have a feeling we're gonna be do we would be doing that all very often, pretty much. Um, <laughs> because... I heard that there is shadow Pokemon all over the place on this island here. Apparently everyone has them. Oh, spot monitor's going off. The cave. Okay. I feel like we've gotten the rare encounter on the oasis area. So now all we have left to get is the rare one for the cave and the rare one for the rock area. Um, so after we do that... We should be good to trade with duking, I believe. <gasps> and there's one now, speaking of. Whooper! That's who we needed. That little whoop. That little whooper. <laughs> so cute. Um, and I can't touch him. So I'm just gonna go for a nice netball here. Boy, wouldn't it be something if I clicked that master wall, huh? <laughs> Glad it's at the bottom. So we have two down now. We have Surskit and Wooper, two of the rare spawns for the areas. And now all we need is the one for the rock area, which I don't remember what that one was. I think it's Trap Inch. So once we get Trap Inch too, we should be good to go. Okay, so let us head to the purifying area. And purify that Pokemon that needs purifying and add some to the party. The purification party, that is. Not our party. I like our party. I don't want to change it. I don't remember what it said. I think it said Butterfree? Who was next to be purified? Nope. Weeping Bell. Gotta be honest, I kind of forgot that there was a weeping bell in here. <laughs> but now we can add the other two. Okay. You go to the PC. And then we'll add these other ones in here. Who did we capture? Ah, here we are. Gold duck. And another one here for Sableye. Alright, so we have our two here. Surskit and Wooper. Now we just need to wait on that trap inch. Okay, we got everybody purifying. We are good there. Maintenance is done. Guess I'll go ahead and heal while I'm here. I mean, there's a healing machine. Why not use it? Oh, that's cool. We have two in Premier Balls, two in Great Balls, and two in Pokeballs. I like that. <laughs> I always love a little variety to my Pokeballs. 
I would love if I could just catch a Pokemon in a different Pokeball. Like each one, all six members would be in a different Pokeball. I've always wanted to do that when I'm playing through the regular games. Because, you know, you start out with the regular Pokeball, obviously, because you're starters in it. And then after you catch your starter, you have the option usually to catch more or you can go to the Pokemon Center or Pokemart or whatever and you can buy yourself some more Pokeballs and get a Premier Ball if you get 10 of them. Then maybe you can catch your next one in a Premier Ball because obviously they're not that hard on the first route to catch. But then after that, it's like, what do you catch with next? At that point, you still want to catch Pokemon, but do you want to catch Pokemon in a Great Ball? Or are you able to get to the Great Ball yet? You know? Um, if not, then you have those team members that are going to be caught in Pokeballs or Premier Balls. I don't know, I just put- and then after that you get the Ultra Ball. Oh, look, and there's another healing place right there. You get the Ultra Ball next. So, you know. What after that? He usually never leaves the Luxo Cruiser. Where's he off to in such a hurry? Oh, I know. You chased him off. Huh. Just joking. Wanna race me? Um... This isn't racing. This is battling. Are we gonna have a battle to see who can take out whose Pokemon first? <laughs> I guess we can do that if you want. I don't see you doing much though. Oh, more shadows. Might have known. The Dodrio Do Do is a chateau. Um, well, I don't really know what to do to it, in all honesty. <laughs> Shadow Blitz. It looks very funny on Dodrio. <clears throat> oh yeah. This Zatu has got to go. We cannot have you healing up whenever we're trying to work on our, uh, you know, capturing here of this Doduo. Or Dodrio, not Doduo. That's three heads, not two. Alright, I'm going to rock him again, and then I'm going to Charm again. We're probably going to have to switch out here. I'm thinking I may go into Jolteon. I think Jolteon might be good to go into. I don't... Well, I could risk going out into Breloom, but only after we've taken out this Zatu here. Because I don't want to take a Flying-type attack or a Psychic-type attack from it, so definitely not. A whisk cache? Okay, interesting. Well, I definitely have to get camera up out of here, that's for sure. Didn't matter. <laughs> okay, Lunatone, you are good to switch for... Sharpedo, and then... Camera up, you are good to switch for Breloom. We could just bullet seed with Breloom, I guess. After we stun spore the Dodrio first. You are charmed twice though, so you shouldn't be doing very much damage to me. You know, I didn't really realize just how important those moves are. You know, moves like Charm, Sand Attack, um, Stun Spore. They're very helpful in this game. Very, very helpful. Okay, we're going to... I guess we'll Water Pulse you and we will Stun Spore Dodrio. Should be neutral. Because you are ground type. It would have been great if we could have got the uh, confusion there, though. That would have been nice. Oh no, we missed! It's fine, it's fine. All he can do is surface anyway, we're fine. Which is not very effective on both my Pokemon. Alright, we'll try one more time. Try to get this stun spore off here. Crit would have been nice there, but it's okay. Or confusion. Either way, it would have been nice. 
Not too concerned though. Really not. Oh great, now I can't <laughs> now I can't paralyze you because you affect spore, now you're poisoned. Well, I guess I could just wait you out. I think I will do that. I'll just work on the other side here, trying to get that, uh, get Dodrio down to being the last one. Camera Gucci level 39. Now it looks like we'll be switching leads again. Oh wait, you're another Shadow too, aren't you? Yep, you are. Radicate. That was on the list. I remember seeing that one. You know, that reminds me. We're actually not very far. We're not very far now from... Um, mm, mm, I don't know what to use on you. I'm going to refresh because I'm going to stun spore the Radicate. We're not very far from the bottom of the, the list, to be honest. Now, now that I think about it, like... The list was kind of short. I mean, we caught pretty much all the Shadow Pokemon in the game, so I guess maybe we are getting towards the end. Huh. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk that we would have almost been to the end? After all this time. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's going to be so satisfying to finish this game. It really is, because I never have. So to be able to finish it, I'll be pretty happy with that. Okay, let's use a hyper po- or a yeah, let's use a Hyper Potion on you. And then let's use a Soda Pop on you. And then we'll let you get some more poison damage there, Dodrio. And then we'll try tossing a Pokeball at you. Shadow down. What is that? Defense harshly fell. Well, that's nice. Thanks a lot, buddy. I don't think I want my defense lowered. Okay, let's go in with the Ultra Ball. And I guess we'll just stun Spore. <laughs> Not really much we can do on that side of the field. So Drio is now on a timer though, which is not good. But luckily that's taken care of. <laughs> now we gotta work on this eradicate. Okay. I think I'm gonna swap now, considering we have two defense drops on both of them. Actually, we're at minus four, I think, because I think harshly fall means that it goes down by two. So we're at minus four on both of them. We're going to swap out here. I'm going to swap into Muck. <clears throat> and I'm also going to swap into... I guess... Jolteon? I'm not sure who to swap into because honestly, Raticate... Probably can't take too many attacks, so not sure who I'm going to actually use to to fight this thing with. Um, Screech, Shadow Bomb, sh Sludge Bomb, Shadow Punch. I don't think any of these would be good. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a little savey save. And then I think we're going to Acid Armor and we're going to go for a Bite. Shouldn't do too much. And then we might start going in with the Pokeballs after this. Oh, and we get the Flinch. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go for my Ultra Ball here. And then I'm going to do one more bite because I don't think one more bite will take it out. If we don't manage to catch it.
But I honestly don't think we'll have any issues. Yeah, it is just eradicate. <laughs> Oh, I've been crushed. You still want to race, bro? <laughs> You're pretty decent. So, who are you, huh? Guess it doesn't matter. Are you just gonna let me walk by? Okay. Well, I'm gonna heal up here. So I'm guessing we gotta go the other way? And I can access the purification chamber from in here, can't I? On the PC? I can. Okay, let's go ahead and put them in there then. Put Dodrio in there. And we will put in Radicate. Alright, now we're full up. Now let's go this way. See what's over here. Oh, see, I don't know which way to go because whenever they come from both sides, I'm just like, which way do I go? You need to tell me which way to go. I need to know the right way, not the wrong way. <laughs> okay, we have a masquerine and a dunsparce. And I forgot to switch leads. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. This is what we need anyway. Uh, let's rock tomb and let's earthquake. Since none of these are shadows, thank goodness we can go full force on this one. So they're around level 33, which is interesting. Um, I think we may be a little bit over leveled, but it's totally fine. I'm really, really expecting this game to ramp up here pretty soon. Um, so I definitely am expecting the, the level jump. I'm actually gonna go for a psychic though because I am not risking that rock tomb miss because you guys know my luck with rock tomb and knowing me I would miss. Oh Roselia huh? Okay. Good thing you're not a shadow because I just used Earthquake. Oh my gosh, and we one-shot you! I'm gonna take out both of your Pokemon in one at once. And a crit on the Dunsmart. This camera is a beast. Do not come to me with your problems because camera will destroy them with an Earthquake. And a Spinda. All right. We won't go too hard on you, Spinda. We won't earthquake you this time. We'll just psychic you into oblivion. My gosh. Jeez. Earthquake would have been a little bit overkill. <laughs> I think it's time to change up our leads here. <laughs> the spot monitor. Yes, sorry. I'm going back. Where is it at? The rock. Okay. That's one we need. Don't worry, I'm coming, Pokemon. I'm coming. Just wait there. Wait. Don't leave. Hope there's enough Poke Snacks on the spot. I think there was only two left, so I don't know how long that's going to keep it there. Quickly, quickly, run as fast as you can, sir. What a great time it would be if we had a bicycle. The one game where you don't have a bike. Kinda needed. All right, let's check the rock spots for... Oh, it's freaking Munchlax again. 
Munchlax, really? You ate the rest of my Poke Snacks? Well, now you guys get to see what happens. <laughs> so basically, he comes in here, he eats all my food, and she gives me 10 Poke Snacks. So I'm guessing if um, he manages to get here, like whenever you have um, 10 Poke Snacks on the spot, then he's going to take all 10 of them. So that's probably why she gives us 10 each time. Um, so I guess <laughs> we'll put down 10 more. Because honestly, this is the only spot that I need to get the rare Pokemon on. Um, Trap Inch is the only one we have left to catch. At the other spots, they're totally fine if I don't catch anything at them. Um, so if we get through here and a Poke Spot goes off and it's not the rock one, I'm not going to be upset about, you know, missing out on it. So we could just leave it alone, it'll be fine. Let's head back on the Robo Kyogre though and get on back over to the area here that we're going to, which is some island that I forgot the name of. I'm trying to figure out the right way to go. So I went that way and there was a cypher person there. Um, there was someone at the other way. Now, where does this lead to? Nowhere? Really? This led to nowhere. Okay. There's not even a, like a button here or like a secret passageway or just no box or nothing with Pokemon stuff in it. Just a random hallway leading to nowhere. Okay. Well. Guess we go in the right way by going this way. Now we can go in there. Um, we can go here. I'm gonna go here. Get this max elixir. Um, I'm guessing this is nothing, nothing, no one here, no one here. We can't get it there. I guess we have to go this way. Hello, sailor person. I should be swapping down Master Grievous Luxo Cruiser, but I'm completely lost. What is wrong with me? I gotta buck up and focus. Hey kid, you what say we battle? You're a big hearted kid. I'll show my respect and go all out. Listen, I feel like if I would have said no, you still would have battled me anyway. So either way, I'll take your shadows now. Because I'm assuming you're going to have them. <laughs> oh, I forgot to switch my leads still. <laughs> Lunatone and camera are still in front. Um, okay. Well, I guess we will just do our thing. What we've been doing this whole time. <laughs> With these beasts out in front, we shouldn't have any issues. You know, camera up kind of only works with Lunatone, to be honest. I can't just earthquake anybody. Gotta make sure it's always the Pokemon that need to be... that are on the opposite side that get earthquaked, and not us. Unless I just think they could take it. Which, now, I don't know, because camera up's pretty strong now. Oh, a Pupitar. Interesting. Okay. I thought you would have had Shadow Pokemon. Surprised you didn't. Well, it looks like Lunatone is going to be our first level 40 Pokemon that we are going to be having here. <clears throat> Interesting. I'd say we're good on levels, though. <laughs> I might as well keep Camera up out just so it could get it could get to level 40 as well. Um, I might swap it out with. Um, Someone. There's someone who's level 38. I think it's Sharpedo. Yeah, Sharpedo and Muck are level 38, so I might just swap you. Actually. No. I think I will go ahead and switch you. Because I want you guys- wait, how close are you to get into level 39? 
Eh. Okay. I guess we'll stick with this. Okay, big circle. Huh? Maybe... Are you someone suspicious? I don't know. Am I? Jetzel? <laughs> Jetzel. Jetzel? <laughs> How do you say these names? You know, it's so weird. Sometimes I just find myself sitting here just listening to the music. <laughs> this is probably my favorite music in any Pokemon game is in this game. Well, not this one. Colosseum has the best music. I hands down have not heard better Pokemon music soundtrack than from Colosseum. Every single theme I pretty much have enjoyed. I love them all. <laughs> They're amazing. I don't know why, I just, I really like them. So I just, I don't know, it just connects with me, I guess. <laughs> this one is pretty good too. Though not as good as the original. Still good. And I still stand by thinking that the original Mirror B uh, theme is actually better than this one. Although this one isn't bad either. But yeah, the original one was one of my favorites. Wow. Mug is really strong, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda underestimated it. Oh, and with the leftovers, we are eating. Kinda surprised at the lack of uh, Shadow Pokemon here. <laughs> Thought there would be a lot more. I really hope they bring this game back, though. In some form. Uh, Alright, now we're gonna switch you. Just for a little bit here, so we can get camera up to level 40. But yeah, I really do hope they redo this game at some point. I mean, wouldn't you just love that? Oh, it's Lavrina! Oh, you are so that little boy who ran off with Professor Crane. Because of what you did, Master Greenful was oh so angry. Ugh, made everyone miserable and it's so your fault. But it's okay now. We didn't need Professor Green anyway. I just so needed to be serious just a little tiny bit to get XT001's final adjustments just right. It is so perfect now. Purification will so not work on it ever. <laughs> I'm so amazed because I am so a genius. Oh, you want to see my XD001? <laughs> Sorry, that is so not possible. Why? Because I am going to defeat you, little boy. Here I come. Okay, Lavrina, bring it on, admin. <laughs> you really need some fairies, don't you, girl? <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not going to get them here. Wouldn't Muck be perfect, though, if she had fairies? <laughs> um, okay. Guess I'll just flamethrower and... Sludge Bomb? I'm fully expecting that Gorbis to definitely... Um... Wow, really? The one female I have on my team, and you attract it. I'm fully expecting that Gorbis to attack camera. Fully expecting that to happen. <laughs> so she has level 36s, which is actually pretty tough. I probably wouldn't have been bad to do a little bit more um, 
training, to be honest. Get everybody to level 40. There's the water pulse. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Of course. Okay, well, you need to be stopped. Actually, there's nothing you really can do, Breloom. You can bullet see, but I don't think it's going to do much. Oh, you outspeed? Okay. This is it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, and you only hit twice. And I'm getting psychic. There goes my Breloom. Ugh. I have got to get this these two out of here. These two are a menace. I need to use some revives. <laughs> well, I know Gardevoir is gone. But we get you out of here. And then I'll get Gorbis out with Jolteon. Rosalia! Oh my gosh, Rosalia! And you're gonna attract me as well? Really? Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Alright. I'm putting this all on you, Jolteon. Yes, that's right, Jolteon! We do not love these girls! We do not love them! They can attract all they want, but we are serious battlers here. Lavrina and her attract stats? Strats? Whatever you want to call them? Eh, eh, eh. I knew you had to have one shadow, and Farfetch, of course, had to be it because it does not fit your team, girl. <laughs> does not fit your team at all. Alright, you're seeding my muck. Gross. Don't do that. And we did critical hit! Oh my gosh, muck, you are amazing. Oh, this muck was the best choice I could have definitely used. <laughs> All right, Altaria? No, 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 Taro, no Taria. Oh, great. Okay, I have to catch it. It's <laughs> like no, 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 no Taria, no Taria here. All right, we have to switch then, because I can't have someone leech seeded. Um, I'm going to bite the farfetch, and I am going to swap out to Lunatone. Yeah, that'll work. I lost my stun spore. I probably should get Breloom back though, because I do need to get a stun spore. It will definitely help out, especially with catching that far pitch. It's going to be the hardest one to catch. Probably going to have to definitely um, paralyze it in some form. Not my evasiveness. Ooh, 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 I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the strats that I pulled before. So I'm gonna bite you. Actually, no, I'm going to revive. I'm gonna revive Breloom here. And then I am going to Cosmic Power. And then we're gonna swap in to um, Breloom. With the two cosmic powers here. With Lunatone. And then Breloom should be able to take a hit and be fine. Shadow Panic? What is that? Oh no, not another confusing move. <laughs> that is not what we need. Okay, I'm gonna bite you one more time and I'm going to Cosmic Power again. Actually, I'm going to save. Okay, yeah, I'm going to Cosmic Power once again. If we can break through Confusion, then we should be okay to Baton Pass out in the next turn. Okay, you're good to be caught now. Shadow Break. Not sure I remember what that is. Ow, that hurts. Thank you, Altaria. Thank you for that one. 
Oh, Lunatone, come on. Okay. Well, it's fine. I am going to use my Ultra Balls here on Farfetch'd, and then I'm going to try for another Cosmic Power on Lunatone here. Hopefully we can catch the Farfetch'd. Please just let this be easy. I really just want to catch it. I know Farfetch has a weird catch rate. Ugh, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get Brayloom out of here. I'm definitely going to have to um, paralyze this thing. Ow. Okay, Lunatone's taking hits. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Come on, Lunatone, pull through. Okay. Lunatone, really? I need you to snap out of it. Shadow Sky, what the heck is that? Oh no, not this again. Flashing lights striking everyone in its path. Um, okay. Well, I'm just gonna do my regular thing I was doing. Ultra Ball you and Cosmic Power you. We're almost there. Just a waiting game right now. Just a waiting and capturing game. Oh, come on. I think every time I'm just like, let me just hold my breath and it won't do anything to me. It'll be fine. But I guess not. Alright, Jolteon, you did fine. It was a critical hit. You could do nothing about it. Nothing about it. It's fine. I'm gonna send in Sharpedo. Send in the shark. When in doubt, send in the shark. Because I want to get the... Um, I want to get the cosmic powers on Breloom. I, I mean, I just have to try at least. Lunatone, you have failed me. You have failed me, Lunatone. You have failed me. Okay, well, either way, we're not doing anything because Breloom is going to have to paralyze someone. Um, let's see. Okay. I need you to outspeed. I need you to paralyze the Farfetch'd. Um, I'm gonna Water Pulse the Alteria. Alta Alteria. Altaria. And I don't think that should take it out. And I'm gonna Stun Spore the Farfetch'd. We have to get Paralyzes on both of these Pokemon. Okay, it's not very effective. Good, 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 good. If I can get a Confusion though. Yes! <laughs> yes! It's your turn to get confused, my friend. How does it feel? Okay. Now I'm going to Water Pulse the Altaria, and then I am going to um, try to catch the Farfetch now. Using that Shadow Panic again. Definitely don't want to see the confusions, but they're here to stay, I guess. Braylon avoided it, nice! Okay. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity since we're confused anyway. I'm going to heal Breloom up, and then I'm going to use Breloom's turn to try to catch it, so... Um, I guess we'll do fresh water? And then we will do a Ultra Ball. Again, I'm having to use my Ultra Balls when I don't want to. Gonna have to get some more! But we do what we do, and we do what we must. For this Pokemon here. Well, these Pokemon. That's right. I knew the paralysis would do it. I knew it would. I just had to get it paralyzed first. Okay. Altaria, you are confused. It's fine. So I think I will... I think I will use one more. Yeah, I'll use one more. Water Pulse on you. How long does this last? My gosh, I don't like it. It's like rain, that hurts. And we're gonna stun spore you. Oh, nope, not Sharpedo. I'm gonna stun spore you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I can do plenty of those, it'll be fine. 
And we miss. Alright, we miss again. I think I'll stop here though. I will use a refresh with you and then I will stun spore you. If I can break through the confusion, I can refresh and I... Oh, I should... I was going to say I could refresh and then I will be fine. I won't be confused anymore. Um, but I guess that's not how it works. I guess it only takes care of like status effects and doesn't do anything with confusion. Hmm. Well, we stamp out, that's fine. If I could hit a stun spore though, that'd be great. I'm really needing to hit one. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try to catch it. In all honesty, I'm gonna try to catch it. I'm gonna go for the ultra. And I'm gonna go for a stun spore again. Because if it doesn't catch, then I'll go for the stun. One more time. Altaria would be so nice to use though. A nice dragon type on the team would not be bad. But I like our team the way it is. Okay, we have caught the shadows and we are good to go. We have beat Lavrina. Ah, boo, now look what you've done. What, defeat you? Yeah, that's what I did. You are terrible. I mean, really, Master Grievel will be oh so cross with me again. Ugh, how I so dislike you. I I would be glad, little boy, when Master Grievel and XD001 make you pay. Alright, so we have defeated her. Ooh, spot monitors are spawning. Gotta get over there. Get out of the way, buddy. I don't remember which way to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see where we are at. The Oasis. Okay, well not really needing to go to the Oasis, but I guess I will go nonetheless. Just to see what it is. Oh, another one's going off. If this is the rock, we're going to the rock one. It is. Okay, we're going to the rock one. And if the Oasis one is still there, we'll go to it. But we're going to the rock one, definitely. Because I'm more concerned with that one than I am with the Oasis one. That one I'm, I can let go and I can let lapse because we already have the Surskit. I could always use two, which would be good to have. <clears throat> but I think we'll be fine with just one. I don't necessarily have to give those to Duking. I just kind of want to see what he's going to do if I do give them to him. Oh, it's another Gligar. Ugh. I don't need you. I don't need you. I need you to go away. Oh, oh. Ugh, I don't have time for this. <laughs> I thought that was a run option, but it wasn't. Of course not. Well, Muck should be level 39 off of this, I guess. And you know what? Maybe the Oasis spot will still be there. Who knows? Okay. Really? It probably won't now. We're taking too long for this battle. Get out of here, Lagar. Come back whenever you're trap inch. Alright, bye. Bye. Bye bye. Gotta go to my next spot now. And Muck is level 39. Alright. Oasis, here I come. Oh, it was freaking Munchlax. I knew it would be. I was like, I'm not even worried about it because I bet it's going to be Munchlax. Well, it was Munchlax once again. Girl, can you just give me your Munchlax at this point? Like... Oh no, you've eaten someone's food again. Haven't I told you no? Oh, you glutton. 
so sorry this keeps happening over and over. Please, could you forgive us with this? I mean, at least she gives us more Poké Snacks. And some, like, energy roots and revival powders and all that stuff anyway. But I really don't need them, ma'am. I need you to stop eating my Poké Snacks. Alright, goodbye. Get out of here. Get, get your... Don't look at me. Just get out of here. Now we gotta go all the way back for nothing. All right. Well, I think what I am going to do though is I am going to head on back into the uh, the island where we need to go on the Robo Kyoga here, and I'm gonna end off the episode here because next episode, I guess we'll be going up the elevator there and doing some more battling. Because apparently, I think. Uh, we might be getting a little bit closer to our goal of where we need to get to. Which I don't know where. I guess we're just supposed to be looking for that um, that guy, the Grievel guy. And I can purify one other Pokemon here. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that with Farfetch. And I could do another one here. I think I might actually have some Pokemon that... I could do this with now. I think. Maybe... Let me show you kind of what I've been doing. So everything I think has to be strong against the, the next thing that you put in there. I think. Or weak. Or I don't, I don't exactly know. Um, but I've been trying to figure it out and I haven't really did that good of a job of it. Hmm. Let's we'll see if we put you here. And that's Max. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't know how I'm doing it, but apparently I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys here all purified up. We probably need to fix the tempo on some of these. We could do that. Uh, but I'll do that a little bit later. I'm not concerned about that now. I have a few more Pokemon to catch. Um, but anyway, like I said, we're going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And in the next episode, I guess we will uh, go ahead and go up that elevator there and see what the next floor has to offer. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.